Okay, I don't think I've ever seen this many zombified piglin in one area outside of XP farms. Just like, why is there so many of them right here? Anyway, with that uh, weirdness aside, hey there, look, you're here. Welcome to my Minecraft world. You may be asking, hey, why are you in the nether? And the reason why is I want to get a lot of nether quartz because this, this looks boring. This is my little portal base and we need to upgrade it. We need it to look a lot better. So we're going to get some quartz, some gold, uh, glowstone, make it look bright, pretty, just, hmm, you know, all that fun stuff. And yeah. Yeah, on top of that, I think what I'm also going to work on is probably doing some more, like, preparing for the end. So, trying to get some, like, melons to make some healing potions. I think that would be pretty smart to do. And I do think one more thing that I want to do is make a nice gold farm. Because I want to get a lot of gold. We have, like, 60-something apples back at home. And we can transform all that into the golden apples. I was about to say notch apples. But, like, we can make golden apples with that. And that would help out so much in the fight. As well as, like, make golden carrots. That's just been one thing I've been saying we need to do a lot is just have a lot of golden carrots just so that way we don't have to worry about saturation so i should probably also get a lot of magma cubes because i remember watching a video a couple years ago on how to make a uh make a gold farm at least on java edition Ooh, this is not the area i want to be this is a bad area i think i'm gonna go with about like a full hot bars worth of quartz just so that way like we don't run out as fast as possible and i'm talking about like the nether quartz blocks not just like the quartz itself you know what i just remembered we can make fire resistance potions and that would be very useful for like the magma blocks to like gather all that up so that way we don't like fall in lava and die or like just get burnt in general so i should probably make my way quickly home home to do that and then continue on with this like journey of mine so we're gonna do that i'll still grab any like nether quartz that i see on the way there but definitely definitely think that would be a smart idea all right let's see where did i put the brewing stand i think it's in this chest right here yeah there it is okay uh where should we put it Ooh, everything's pretty much taken let's place it right here i think that'll look pretty nice and then we need some fuel i think i have one blaze rod i do perfect and then now all we need is some water bottles do we have any glass i don't don't think we'll have any glass and we're running out of sand uh all right let's go quickly get some sand and get this underway by the way as a quick reminder guys i did put up a poll recently for like a modern minecraft series because i've been into like rl craft and a lot of different mods lately and i want to do a series on that you know just want to see what you guys want to see so i put up a poll recently on different type of mods like stone block uh sky factory rl craft or whatever you guys want to see you know so if you guys don't mind i would love for you guys to vote and let me know what you want to see uh right now rl craft is in the lead and the other two options were voted as a tie. I haven't seen anybody recommend a different mod than that. So if you guys don't mind, again, once more, please vote in it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's fine by me. Ooh, we got some iron left over. I'm gonna take that real quick. Now we should probably transform all this nether quartz. And we just got this little bit. There we go. And then I do know I got a good amount right here. I want to make sure this is like pretty much full. Ooh, we can transform this. And let's see, we should have some nether quartz somewhere. There it is. Only six? Wow, I thought I had a lot more than that. Uh, we should probably start growing some though. Really don't need that many. I don't really like make potions that often. So. so I think right here is a pretty good spot for it, right behind our portal. I do need to transform this. I've been thinking about making it like a nether area, but haven't gotten around to it. But uh, don't think I really focus on potions that much. I never really did in general. Like I always did like a 5x5 five five area when I was younger, but just never did potions. So I don't know why I always went like above and beyond. I only really needed one at that time. But I guess right now we gotta pretend to make some potions a lot because of the fact we are in a harder version of Minecraft. So and then what was it? I think it was redstone to make it last longer because glowstone doubles it. Redstone makes it longer. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. I never know which one it is. It's just so annoying. I feel like it's redstone. That sounds correct, but I could be completely wrong. And then while this is making, we should probably go out and do a quick harvest. So that way we can get some food and get some emeralds. So it does not look like the potatoes and wheat have grown much. So sadly, we're just stuck with carrots and beetroot, which I'm fine with. Beetroot is not really my favorite food. So I'll just mainly harvest the carrots. All right, I'd say that was a pretty good bountiful harvest. Got two stones x and 48 uh, i think i'm gonna make some of them into golden carrots mainly because i wanna i really want to make that what do you say the uh gold farm that's the name man i drew a blank right there a uh, gold farm right now but that'll be after we do a little bit of upgrades here and there to like our base armor tools etc so uh i got a little visitor here 
Not sure what he wants, but uh, let's see what you want. Excuse me, sir. What do you want? Plus, you don't have to have a short fuse with me. Can you please see my property? Oh, God. Okay, I should probably stop messing around here. Okay, while I'm at it, I'm going to combine these bows together. Try to see if we can get a pretty good bow going on here. 11... Nine. Definitely gonna go with that one. Punch two, power two. I'm breaking three. Not bad, not bad. And I think right here will be the last little bit of carrots I'll make. Don't think we need too much more than just what I already have right here. Two stacks, yeah. We we got enough. Ah, now this. This is what I was looking for right here. Some magma blocks. Because we need, like, I think seven stacks and a half. I gotta relook at the video, but seven stacks and a half per layer I want. So, man, I am so thankful we have lava resistance right now. Because it is just a dream to not really worry about, like, taking damage from all this stuff. By the way, I did look it up. We need about, like, seven and a half stacks of magma blocks blocks because what happens is only piglins will spawn on it and that will allow me to just have the uh have the farm work as intended only just the uh, go a part of it all right we have our first layer of magma blocks gonna need to get rid of some of these items here uh what do we get rid of uh let's get rid of some fish we don't need that uh, netherrack, gonna get rid of that one and do something, not like that, not like that. We'll do something more so like this, because the main thing we need is nether quartz that we transform into blocks, not the other way around. Ooh, look at all that glowstone. Okay, okay, uh, now we definitely, definitely gotta get rid of something. And I'm gonna get rid of the flint and steel. We don't need that. We don't need that. So I wanna get this glowstone right here. You know, I think one thing I like about certain mods, like certain mod packs, has to be the fact they add backpacks in the game. And it's like something you can get very early on. Because I would kill for a backpack right now. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so it looks like my fire resistance ran out. Should probably make sure I don't jump into any lava or any magma blocks. Definitely not the lava, though. You know, I really wish there was, like, a glowstone valley. That would be so cool, just getting easy glowstone, because this is annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Trying to, like, climb up the nether roofs and just break all this glowstone. No, he shot me! Oh! Okay, I knew that gas was there, but he wasn't doing anything. But, uh, continuing on, uh, like I said, I wish there was, like, a glowstone valley. Make it a lot easier to get some glowstone. Because, again, just very annoying going to the roots of this. Ooh, this might take a lot longer than expected. You know, sometimes I forget that actually transforming nether quartz into blocks actually takes up all four quartz into one block. And I find that a little annoying because of the fact that I had to get, like, a lot, and I mean a lot of nether quartz. Uh, buddy, can you please stop shooting at me? Seriously, why do you always do this whenever I try, like talking to my fans here so uh, we got a little nether fortress right here i would definitely explore it but we have zero inventory space but uh let's see where are you at where are you at oh you're a lot closer than the other one hang on uh negative 330 negative 230 got it uh we're so close we're so close just a couple stacks away uh, i think right here will give us to three stacks away let me see real quick uh yeah close close pretty close Ooh, please don't break i need you please don't break we're gonna we're gonna make sure that doesn't break uh we're gonna like, get rid of some torches we can always make some more i i think it would be a bit easier to just repair it rather than make a whole brand new one that's eight diamonds don't mm. rather spend one than eight although we are a little less protected now so we gotta be extra careful extra careful all right we do not have a full hot bars worth but we got pretty close to it pretty close uh plus we got whatever's at home i think that's like nearly nearly two hot bars worth so yeah we got near two hot bars worth now the last thing i want to do is repair my armor i'm gonna put one diamond in each just so that way i don't have to worry about it ah that is a lot better right there uh let me grab the stone cutter and let's go upgrade that nether base all right so i wanted to do a little bit of a thought out plan right here for the portal here gonna have to see how to make it go up there i'm thinking scaffolding blocks and then i'm gonna have to make it go over there to our other portal and we should probably see about a way to make it to that one but i think for like the end stronghold but i think we're gonna do like mine carts or ice blocks i don't know something like that but yeah i'm gonna continue working on this and do a little bit of a building montage
right, so far, I think it looks really good. I'm thinking about adding some carpet and some decorations because I think it is a bit too white and I don't want it to just burn my eyes whenever I walk in. So I might add some decoration, like some banners or some pretty cool stuff. I don't know. I'll think about it in the future, but I think so far, it looks pretty good. You know, that is not something you see every day. A little baby zombie piglin riding a chicken. But now that we got the main base upgraded, I'll work on the other ones like some other time, mainly because of the fact that I just don't know what to do for it. I want it to be unique. Mainly because, you know, we're going to be one decommissioning the other nair portal from the monster spawner, especially if we're going to be making a creeper farm and two i want the other ones to just kind of have a unique feel to it now so i think the next task i'm gonna be doing is making a zombie piglin farm however in order to do that we will need some turtle legs and some other resources i'm trying to like kind of get all my ducks in a row right here with the magma blocks we need a lot more than what we got right there and we should probably make a secondary chest just to start like putting it in a proper area all right so this right here is our little ghoul farm chest we need a lot more resources mainly like the magma cubes and just other smaller stuff uh oh i should have brought in the little what do you say the little stone cutter we also need to get a stack of glass so let me get some sand real quick and then we'll go grab some magma blocks ah so nice to get a lost sand very easily all right we got pretty clear inventory for the most part at least enough to get the last little bit of magma blocks we need so let's go out hunt for that and then start building this farm Ooh, we should probably get some ender pearls as well so that way we can actually do this because i believe it needs to be built on the roof of the nether which requires us to like kind of like cheese through the bedrock layer by throwing a bunch of ender pearls uh so we should probably also do that okay yep okay now we gotta drink fire resistant i ooh, <laughs> That could have been a lot worse than what ended up happening there. All right, I want to get out of this lava. I don't like being in it. And I think it destroys armor, even if I have fire resistance. So, uh, yeah, definitely need to be out here. By the way, just to let you guys know, I will be linking the video I am using for this gold farm in case you want to, like, build it yourself. Uh, it is a Java-only farm. However, I will link a Bedrock Edition one just in case you want to build it on Bedrock or you only have Bedrock. You're not, like, left in the dust there. Speaking of which, I will also update my video where I built an iron farm mainly because i did forget to add a bedrock addition there and i kind of just came up with this idea right now uh so i'll add it there and in this video just be uh extra safe man this is a lot easier than the last time i did we're almost done because i think the last time i had it i needed like a full inventory's worth because it required a lot of magma blocks all right we got it all uh let us head home right now gotta go above this little lava pool i thought that was a piglin i'm not gonna lie like a non-zombified version let's see where is the way out of here i do not i don't remember oh no Oh, wait, now I remember. I fell. Yeah, there's the little hole I came from. Let me let me go up here real quick. And let's go find some ender pearls. Ah, now this. This was the biome I was looking for. I see one victim already. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to need to kindly ask for your eyes. You know, for a biome where the endermen should have a increased spawn rate, I am not seeing any Enderman besides the one we attacked, and that guy just teleported. So, not too certain what's going on here, but we might have to find a different biome. Then again, this is like a tiny, a very tiny warped biome. Ah, there we go. That, that is the warp forest right there. I think I was just right underneath it, where I wasn't at the good part of it. I don't know how many ender pearls I'll need. I do know I need like, what, six, seven for the stronghold. So I'll probably go with about, I think a stack would be more than enough. And I'm saying enderman stack, so 16, not like a stack of 64. All right, we're almost there. Just need, what is that, seven more? Yeah, seven more. Whew, where did you come from? Jesus. Not gonna lie, that scared me just a little bit. Alrighty, we just need three more. I see one guy over here. Please let me have you be the final guy, so that way I can just head on back. Ah, just missing one more. One more. Alright, please drop one. Yeah, alright. And he only dropped one, so perfect. And now it's time to go home. Yeah, I really like this uh, this little nether base that we got going on right now. Looks a lot nicer. Let me pick this up before I forget about it. Uh, Man, we got a lot of good stuff. 
Let's get rid of some netherrack. We can always get some more. There's like millions of it every, everywhere. All right, we actually got way more than needed. Uh, we do need to get some more slabs, uh, some of the other resources like the, uh, what do you say, trap doors, boat, hoppers, chest, uh, turtle eggs. That'll be a struggle a little bit. Uh, let's see, do we have any shears anywhere? Uh, no. Let's make some, because we need some grass and some turtles. All right, let us go find some turtles. Need them to make some babies, get some of the turtle eggs, and just hope, really hope it doesn't take too long. <laughs> Finally, we found some turtles. All right, let's have them make some eggs, steal them eggs, and, well, make a farm. Ah, perfect. You're doing it right away. Thank you. Please be three. Please be three. All right, you've yet to lay them. Are you having some troubles here? Let me, let me expand this out a little bit here. Ah, there we go. How many do we have here? Just two. Ooh, gonna need one more. Gonna need one more. Let's see, where's the father at? Ah, there you are. Come on, what are you doing out here? There's nothing out there for you. You know, I really want to get a turtle in real life, mainly because of the fact that, like, really cool creatures, you know? They're able to, like, live for a long time. They're able to swim in the sea, or in some cases, you know, rivers and ponds and whatnot, but I'm talking about, like, sea turtles specifically. And, like, they've gotten the short end of the stick when it comes to, like, survival. Like, they're born to survive, basically. They have to, like, make their way through treacherous danger, and they have to fall the moon in order to make it to the ocean and just what ends up happening is majority of them just end up dying it's so sad but in a way it's like so cool because they're able to prevail against a lot of danger all right now we gotta wait a little bit before these guys are ready to breed again all right let's see are you guys ready now nope gotta give you some more time it's okay it's okay take your time no rush. All right, I think enough time has passed. Let's see once more. Oh, that is a drown. Let me get rid of you. Okay, now, now let's see. There we go. Whew. Was a little worry there. I'm gonna break this open in case they wanna do it somewhere else. Far as the uh, egg laying goes. Ah, there we go. How many eggs do we have? Just one. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Excuse me. I need to grab this egg. Thank you very much. And I will bid you to adieu. I'm going back home. Actually, we should probably mark this area just in case we need more eggs. 1,700. Uh, let's see. Turtle. 1,700. There we go. Ah, look at that. Our lighthouse being the beauty she is to lead us home. Man, you know what? We need to add a lot more to this place because I still think it looks a little bare. I mean, this area looks pretty cool, but it looks like there should be a lot more, like more buildings. And we should probably look into that into the future after more so we defeat the inner dragon and get a little more set up as far as like other boss fights go. Okay, so we're going to be getting some cobbled deep slate so that we can make some more slabs as well as the fact that we need some obsidian in order to make a nether portal on the roof to get like to and from the area. So we're going to grab this obsidian right here. Thankfully, we only need 10. And the fact that we also have a efficiency 5 pickaxe, which I still, I very love that. And there we go. Let's go and grab some deep slate. All right, so I got four stacks of deep slate. I think that should be more than enough. I don't think we need any more than that. So especially the fact they're going to be slabs. Uh, so let's get the last little bit of resources like trap doors, hoppers, and the chest. You know, I really hate the fact that oak trap doors or just any trap doors can only give you two per like resources you use. Because you use six logs or six planks and you only get two uh, trap doors. Like, come on, give me more. Just a little more, please. But right here is all the resources we need. I'm going to make sure there isn't anything else I'm going to be missing and get started on making this build. All right, so I was missing one item that was the ladder so that we can get like to the roof of the nether. Um, I did also grab the obsidian and flint and steel, like make sure I still had them because I really, really do not want to end up being stuck on the roof and just have the series end right there. Now, the correct area you need to be in is the nether waste, which we are in. So I'm making my way to the roof right now. And the specific block we are looking for is 127. So that way we can kind of like climb up it and go through 125 we're almost there oh was that 127 127 all right so right here is where we want to be so you place down some ladders and you grab your 
Okay. <laughs> Let me quickly go back. I forgot the inner pearls. Okay, it was actually a good thing we did come back because he just recommended to use some scaffolding blocks for this next step. So I'm going to do that real quick as well. All right, I'm going to be using my brain here. I know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a rare moment here. But I'm going to be using my brain to go to the stronghold. And that'll allow me to go to the library section of it so that way I can get some string. And that will be a lot easier than like waiting till nighttime, waiting for spiders to spawn killing them and have a chance to get some string all right let's see if i can remember where to go this direction yeah we go this direction and i think back through here and we just go upwards there you are you beautiful library let me get all that string because we want to make sure that we don't need to come back here at least not for a little while i'm gonna grab every single cobweb here just to be extra extra safe okay there we go now that should be all the cobwebs just doing one more check through yep all right cool all right let's go back to the other side Ooh, hang on. We might not actually have to go back to base. I forgot that we have a crafting table here. Let's see. Ah, just a little shy. Okay. Uh, gonna bow meal just a little more bamboo and then head back. All right. Let's see how much this will get us right here. Okay, there you go. More than two stack and that is A-OK -okay by me. And I'll plant the rest of the bamboo out here as well. So that way I don't have to like think about it in the future. All right. Let me just once more. Flint and steel, obsidian, at least 10. Okay, let's do this. You just look up here and then go through. And there you go. You're on the roof of the nether. And now I just need to make sure every 30 blocks will be a nether waste. So let me just double check here. All right, these two directions are good. Now I just need to check the last two over here. All right, we got the start of it going. Let's go grab our resources and then probably have another building montage. You know, I think I might make a little railway system from our base to here because of the fact that we spawned about 1,000 blocks away from our house. So thankfully I will be killing two birds with, well, I guess two stones technically, but two birds with one stone since I'll have a gold and an iron farm up and going. Okay, I think for future reference, we should probably bring a spare boat if we're going to be making this trip back and forth. Um, so I'm going to grab this one so conveniently left right there. Okay, so we got to go to the next steps here. We need to go to the top of the uh, scaffolding here and make it to 256. Make sure we're at that point and then go down to 253. So let's see here. Uh, 256. All right. Ooh, okay. Let's, uh, let's not walk off. Ooh. All right. So 253 right here. So let's get started on this build. having like a couple heart attacks here and there uh gonna need to make a quick pit stop back at my base grab the rest of the resources head back here and then hopefully have this finish up uh there is a chance gas may spawn on these blocks right here so hopefully i'm hoping they don't spawn but we're gonna find out oh look at that we got some uh we got some little piglin guys right here should probably make sure they don't do that and while I'm at it, I'm actually going to place a chest down here with some of the resources so we can make like multiple trips back and forth. All right, here we are back again. We should have everything that we need to finish this build. So I'm going to continue on the building montage.
Alright, well with one cramped finger, I'm gonna be making my way back to my base because I did lose some blocks and I guess I was a little short. I must have did my math wrong a little bit there. Alright, please, Mr. Zombify Pigments, please do not kill me from here. I just want to go down. Thank you. Man, I really have to say my pinky is really hurting right now. Like, I've been standing there, like, crouch for, like, I don't know. Man, I have to say my pinky is getting a serious workout right now for, like, how long I've been crouched right there. All right, back up here. Uh, let me quickly do this so no mobs spawn on top of here. There we go. And then let's go back to building. All right, hopefully these pigmen won't kill me. And let's continue on with our building. Okay, so I might need like a stack and a half more. I, I really hate the fact that I have to get so much. So let's just make sure we're good and done. I'm gonna get two stacks and then Hopefully everything else is good. All right, hopefully, and I really do mean hopefully, this little bit will be more than enough. You know what? I'm just gonna grab a little more just to be safe. Just to be extra safe there. You know, I will have to say, I am thankful to get some more magma blocks because it gave me an excuse to drink some fire resistance potions. And that allows me to have my finger to get a little break here. All right, now we just need to have the little area that needs to be catching these guys. Need to make sure I don't mess up. Okay, uh... Piglins, can we can we get out here, please? Thank you. Uh, let's see. We need to be at 231. And this is where the egg is. Okay, this might be where things might hit the fan a little bit here. Might be where things hit the fan a little bit. Uh, please, please move, sir. Okay, one, one, two. I really hate the fact that I made these so transparent, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so this is where we're going to need our temporary chest. Uh, excuse me, sirs. I need to go down here, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. There you go. I'm going to wear this just to be safe. I think I'm going to change this in the future to have, like, the scaffolding on this side. So that way I don't have to deal with all that. But all we got to do now is add some hoppers. Okay. No. No, no, no. We're not going to jump that. We're going to do this and then add the hoppers. All right, let's position this. We need to be about negative 172, negative 54. 172, 54. 172, 54. Man, this is already so bad. I hate this. I hate going through all these piglins. Ah, uh, I know they're gonna... Okay, we're gonna break one. Whoa, yep, okay. Whew, thought a lot more was gonna fall. Okay, I cannot see where... Okay, I think I plugged it up. I didn't. Man, I... Mm, I really hate the fact it looks so much nicer. Ooh. We're taking a lot of damage. Let's not do that. But, like, it looks so much nicer, but I hate the fact that the glass is so transparent. All right, I said 172.54, I believe. It should be right here. I should be looking at. Yeah, that looks correct. All right, let's see. Have we made it? No, just a little shy. Just a little more. Did that do it? Nope. Okay, I think that's it. So let's go up and see if this works. Okay, hopefully this works. Please don't kill me. Gonna see if we can hit one of them. All right, we hit one of them. And none of them are gonna jump and hit me. We did it. Nothing spawning here. They're all spawning over here. Oh, okay. Thank God. I am a little... I was a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, wait, did I leave a block up there? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not supposed to have that. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But here we go. Ooh, look at all that. Lovely XP. Lovely. Hang on. Uh, not so much cool nuggets yet, but it's probably taking its time, you know? Oh, this would be so perfect if I had mending. Like, oh, I would be able to repair all my armor in, like, one go, basically. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, we have a shovel here. We can test how well that works with a shovel. Oh, my God. We're already almost done. And I just won, like, six times, maybe. Oh, yeah. This will get clogged up with their swords as well. That's not going to be a good thing, in my opinion. Uh, we'll probably start working on, like, some type of, like, automatic sorter thing. I'm not entirely sure how I would do this. Maybe, like, a dropper system where it, like, dispenses the items down a tube and to an automatic sorter down below. Not entirely certain, but I think for now, this is all we need to do. But now that I know this works, I think we should probably call it here. I'm probably gonna just chillax here a little bit, get some more XP, some gold, that sort of stuff. And yeah, so if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And once more again, there is a poll for some modern Minecraft. Uh, please vote in that if you want to. Again, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. And yeah, without the way, this has been Lifted20, signing off. Bye-bye.